Hello everybody. Today we would like to show you how to calibrate an MS system using our Thermo Fisher QX Active HF system. The frequency in which you should calibrate your system depends on the type of MS system you are using. In this video we are only referring to the mass calibration of the MS system. When you're using the Thermo Fisher software you can check if the calibration is due or not by clicking on calibrate and uh, on the bottom you can see if the calibration is due. As we are working with very low flow rates it is important to move the probe closer to the inlet of the MS system in preparation of the calibration. You can see here that the ring D is selected on our probe. This is because we were using higher flow rates for the analysis before we were working with 500 microliters per minute. In our calibration, we are using flow rates of 2 to 5 microliters per minute, so we have to move it closer to the inlet and we have to move it to the ring B. If you should be unaware of how close to move the probe to the inlet, please refer to your manual. This is what the manual for our QExective HF looks like and here you can see which ring to choose. To be able to untighten the probe and to move it closer to the inlet, you have to open the screw that I indicated here in red. Please be aware that when you open the screw the probe can move freely, so it might be a good idea to hold it with the other hand to prevent it from falling down. Also, please take care, the surface can be hot if the MS system was in use before. When the probe is at ring B in our case, we have to tighten the screw again and we can continue with the preparation for the calibration. We are using the commercially available Calm Mix from Thermo Fisher for the calibration. To calibrate, you have to fill a syringe with the calibration solution. To do so, it is always good to wash the syringe beforehand. I'd like to wash it at least two times with MS grade methanol beforehand. Also, it might be a good idea to indicate one syringe just for calibration to have no contaminants inside of the syringe. If this is done, you can place the syringe into the syringe pump and connect it with the MS system. I indicated the beginning and the end of the capillary in red here. Please keep in mind that the capillary itself has a certain volume and needs some time to be filled. Now that we're done with the preparation, we can take a look into the software. To be able to calibrate the system, you have to load the tune file by clicking on the load folder. The tune file should load the settings that you are seeing here, ensuring that the machine is ready to be calibrated. First, we have to start the MS system. This can be achieved by clicking on the left upper side on this signal where a pause symbol is indicated. By pressing to play, the MS system will be turned on, which you can see on the moving spectrum on the right side. You can start the syringe pump by clicking on this button and clicking to start. Also, you can adjust the flow rate here. The flow rate for calibration is usually quite low at about 2 to 5 microliter per minute but you can also go for a higher flow rate in the beginning because the capillary has quite a big volume which has to be filled before the actual calibration can take place. For the calibration make sure that the flow rate was lower to 2 microliter per minute for positive mode. Make sure that the positive mode calibration is tick marked. Also, make sure that the tick variation is fine, which is indicated by a green tick mark. If everything looks fine, you can start the calibration. Sometimes calibration fails because one mass was not found. Don't worry, this can happen if, for example, the capillary is not filled. Just start the calibration again when the signal looks stable. In the meantime, I would like to show you how the pattern should look like for the mass calibration. Here you can see the masses inside the calibration mix. M over Z195 translates to caffeine, 524 to MRFA and the higher masses 
1322, 1422 and 1522 can be translated to ultramark standard substances. The calibration is now taking place and was successful. This is indicated by a new window popping up and showing you that the calibration was successful and by the fact that the system is not warning you anymore that the calibration is overdue. We hope that this video was helpful for you and that you are now able to calibrate your MS system on your own. Thank you for watching.